So will it be Teddy Bridgewater or will it be PJ Walker? I don't know what's going on right now. Hey guys, it's your boy J-Rod back at it again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers signing PJ Walker. Alright, now this move has really confused me as the last week of the Panthers quarterback situation has confused me these past two weeks because of the, um, how should I say this, I don't want to get demonetized but the, the Verona, hopefully that doesn't get this video demonetized, but yeah, so looking at the Panthers situation right now, as y'all may already know, Cam Newton is walking away, all right, They're, the Panthers are looking to trade him, all right, so the Panthers technically have five QBs on the roster right now, they have Cam Newton, they have Teddy Bridgewater, who they just signed to a three-year, $60 million contract. They also have Kyle Allen, who they signed to a one-year contract extension. Will Greer, Nash Greer's brother, if you didn't know. You know, the guy on Vine, who was kind of home. Ah, nah, nah, I ain't going to go there. But we have the basically XFL MVP, PJ Walker. All right, so... We know that Cam Newton's leaving. We can forget about him. He might go to the Chargers, might go to the Bears, might even go to the Patriots. We don't know, all right? But what we do know is that we still have four QBs after Cam leaves. What's gonna happen there? Right now, with signing Teddy Bridgewater, it was looking like maybe Teddy Bridgewater is going to be the starting QB. Once the Panthers signed him, I wasn't that mad. I was like, hey, he's not Cam. He's not as good as Cam, but let's see what he can do. He's not that young either, all right? He's not mobile either. He had five starts. He threw nine touchdowns and two interceptions. Wasn't bad at all, but is he gonna like lead this team to a championship? I really don't see it. Hopefully he can improve. Who knows, all right? Better than Kyle Allen, I'll take it. But for 20 million, damn. And we didn't want to pay Cam, but we're gonna pay Teddy Bridgewater 20 million? I didn't get that, all right? I don't understand that. But then we went and signed PJ Walker. And I'm kind of confused by this move, okay? Because I know Matt Rule is a new coach. He used to coach at Temple. And if you didn't know, PJ Walker played at Temple, so there's already a connection there. But there's already a connection with Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers OC, Joe Brady, because Joe Brady was the offensive coordinator at the Saints, well, with the Saints. So I don't know who's gonna start at QB. I know it's not gonna be Kyle Allen or Will Greer. Kyle Allen might get shipped out of here. None of, I, I saw something saying that his money wasn't guaranteed, so they could just like release him or waive him. And I, I kind of expect that to happen. Him or Greer are going to get waived because I see the Panthers keeping PJ Walker, all right? Especially with Matt Rule being the head coach. Now the question is, who is going to start for this team? And right now it's looking up in the air because you don't want to pay a guy 20 million a year for him not to actually play. All right, but you also have PJ Walker, who I believe right now, he's looking like he's probably the best option for this team. All right, he's another mobile quarterback. He's, he's fairly young. He could do a lot of things for the Panthers. I see a higher ceiling with him for the Panthers rather than Teddy Bridgewater, in my opinion. So I was kind of excited that we signed PJ Walker, but then again, I'm like, well, we still have Teddy Bridgewater, paying him 60 million and we probably not gonna seek a trade for him anytime soon. So I don't really understand this move to get PJ Walker or Teddy Bridgewater or signing the contract extension for Kyle Allen. I don't really understand what's going on right now. PJ Walker is no slouch, all right? And five games started, the same amount of games that Teddy Bridgewater started for the Saints this past season. And five games started for the Houston Roughnecks, albeit not as great as a league as the NFL. But hey, in five starts, he had 15 touchdowns, four interceptions. Teddy Bridgewater had nine touchdowns, two interceptions. So you can kind of compare those stats, all right? If you actually um, kind of do the math, I mean, PJ Walker would have probably finished with over 40 touchdowns accounted for, all right? And that's pretty damn good. And on the other hand, if Teddy Bridgewater played the season out, he would have probably had pretty good stats as well. Or maybe not, because as we know, Kyle Allen had decent stats in a few games, and uh, we saw how that turned out after those first five games, four games. He just turned to shit. I expected it, 
I think a lot of other Panthers fans expected it. A lot, but there was a lot of Panthers fans saying that he's the future, and I'm just like, just stop, just stop. He's he's not taking Cam's place. They don't have film on this guy. He's not doing anything spectacular. So just pump the brakes. Yeah, I don't really. Know. I want to see PJ Walker start at QB. I really do, cause I like seeing him play. I like his style. It's like a like kind of like a Kyler Murray, Baker Mayfield. They're they're all the same damn size, but Baker Mayfield's trash. All right. Well, he was trash this past season. Kyler Murray was better. I will say that Russell Wilson is also the same size, so they're they're the same build, all right? You know, and they kind of play similar to each other as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what PJ Walker can bring to this team. I don't know if the NFL is going to have a preseason because of this um, the Verona YouTube. I said Verona, so don't demonetize me. I don't know what's going to go on with that. I hope you get a preseason. I want to see PJ Walker get some snaps. I want to see him being as let as electric as possible with this team and can we do need some wide receiver help as well so if we can deal cam get a decent receiver or a tight end to help this team that would be good as well because curtis samuel and um dj moore they're going to be great they're going to be great someday they're pretty good right now all right we need a third receiver not no jarius Wright or some other bum from another team okay we need a legitimate third receiver all right and we also need a tight end all right ian thomas i think he has the potential to become pretty decent all right but right now he's unproven so we need that as well we just signed to here whitehead so that was a pretty decent move you know not as good as luke keekley but it's something for this defense all right so i don't know i i really if we're gonna trade cam we gotta get some pieces for him cannot just get some picks we we really need some pieces and if the draft comes and the Panthers say you know what I don't I don't see the Panthers drafting another QB that would just be idiotic I don't know who they're gonna take now with that pick it's gonna be interesting on draft night there's probably not gonna be a physical draft night because of the um Verona say it like that the third time hopefully YouTube recognizes if they don't I'm gonna be mad okay so yeah, man, I really don't know what's going to happen. I have a theory, a um, hypothesis of what I think may happen during the season with these QBs. I believe that Teddy Bridgewater, he will get the nod. He will get the start. He's bringing, he's got all that money. They're like, we got to start this guy. All right. You know, we just cannot. We cannot. All right. Teddy Bridgewater is going to have like five good games. All right. Five decent games. The team's going to do all right. Maybe like two and three or three and two. Okay. And then Teddy Bridgewater is gonna have an eh sixth game. Maybe an eh seventh game. Eighth game, bombs. Ninth game, bombs at halftime. Matt Rule's like, PJ, get in. And PJ is gonna take over. PJ is gonna do good for the rest of the season and the Panthers are gonna reevaluate what they wanna do with Teddy Bridgewater. That's how I see it happening. Okay, kind of the same narrative that happened with the DC Defenders and Cardell Jones. Cardell Jones did great at the beginning of the season. He just forgot how to play football, forgot how to throw a pass to his own team, and Tyree Jackson took his spot. But I kind of see it happening for this team, or there could be an injury with Teddy Bridgewater. We know how um, susceptible he is to head injuries. I'm not trying to make a joke of that, not making light of that, that is a bad thing. Hey, I want to see PJ Walker play. I'm happy the Panthers did this, but at the same time, I don't understand it. I don't, like, do you want P.J. Walker to play or do you want him to be a backup? Like, we still have Kyle Allen under a contract extension. We still have Nash Greer's brother, okay? And who, what are we going to get for Cam? I don't know, all right? So these next few weeks, there's not a lot going on in the sports world. So it's, I, I need something, all right? This is just too boring for me. You know, Ohio State, we just got a Trey Sermon. All right, the running back from Oklahoma, so I'm happy about that. All right, the Ohio State situation at running back is looking crisp. All right, so not mad about that, not concerned about that. What I am concerned about is Carolina Panthers and what they're going to do. All right, because I, I, I'm tired of this mediocrity. I'm tired of the team being good for like two years and then being trashed for the next five. I mean, but I will say with these head coaches that the Panthers have had, I think John Fox, he got us to a Super Bowl. Uh, Ron Rivera, he got us to a Super Bowl. So can Matt Rule be the third 
the third straight coach to get us to a Super Bowl, hopefully, and hopefully win. All right, because those those coaches, you know, they had seasons that were up and down, but they still got us to the uh, promised land. Well, almost, I guess the promised land is you actually winning. So we almost got there, but we did it. So in these next five years, it's going to be interesting to see what the Panthers do. This next season is going to be interesting. All right. I saw somebody say that the Panthers, like the, is this the first team to have three black QBs on the same roster since Cam Newton still technically on the team? And no, because the 2016 Bills had EJ Manuel, Vic Cardale Jones, and Tyrod Taylor. So I don't know what's going on with the Panthers right now. I don't know what they're gonna do with these QBs, man. Uh, I don't see Kyle Allen. They're probably gonna wave him. It's either him or Greer that's gonna get waved. I don't see them waving PJ Walker, all right? And as for PJ Walker versus Teddy Bridgewater, who do I want at QB? I want PJ Walker. But let me know what y'all think down below. And as always, this has been another J-Rob video. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe, wash your hands, and peace.